We'll start with Santos Escobar, the self-styled emperor of Lucha Libre. What does that even mean, Corey? Santos sees himself as tradition and modernity all in one. He honors the past with old-school lucha moves, but pushes into the future with modern presentation and technique. He understands the best way to keep tradition alive is to allow it to grow and change. And if I may add, he's completely rootless to boot. And on the opposite side is young Julius Creed, and I think it's fair to say we all expect great things from him. All-American pedigree, all the talent in the world, and integrity to boot. There are a few people who were truly made for this industry, and he's still young, but I think Julius might be one of those. How did scouted? Double arm lock. Wow. It wasn't the... He can do it here. And he breaks the count quickly. He's not even close to being done yet. Ooh. Does the path to victory for Santos Escobar lie in the more traditional or modern elements of his game? It might actually be both. Escobar possesses a perfect blend of modern and traditional offense. If he wants to win tonight, he needs to bring the best of both worlds. Just cranking the head. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. It couldn't have felt good being sucked around like that. Suplex delivered. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show... So wear and tear might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Whoa, not quite yet. The Emperor of Lucha Libre playing to his side. Maybe that will shut him up. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Great flurry of offense from Julius. Creed's proven hard to deal with. And a kick. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, no. Oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Reversal on top of reversal. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock song. And the cover for the win. This is it. Oh, did he get him? Two and a half. That's really as close as it gets. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. You know, it was only a matter of time before this man would make it all about himself. Are you surprised, Byron? I guess I shouldn't be. Looking wobbly in the corner. A little... Oh! Taking it right to him. No way to... Boom! Oh, a knee right to the face! Going for it! Trying to step through! Roll on their belly! Oh my god, superhuman power! He's got it locked in! He may not have a choice! He may get the three count right here! This is it! Oh, just a two count that time. How in the world did he do that? Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Saw that coming. Oh, Spy Buster! Escobar might be getting a little too cocky here. Bam! Down he goes. Get out before the count. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. No way. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. The confidence of Escobar clearly through the roof. Kick to the midsection. Has the arm all tied up. Suplex. A fireman's carry into the front slam. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. There's one. E dos. 
This third one makes it. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. He gets back into the ring. He's taking this to the floor now. Ooh. And Julius gets met with a response. Ooh. He gets what he deserves for all that gloating. All the way over. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Big punch finds its mark. And this has got to be it. Oh, my God. He's still in the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. That's how you wear down your opponent. Crank in the head. Santos was ready there. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Getting back into the ring. Escobar might be getting a little too cocky here. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Santos falling victim to an onrush now. Santos has to find an opening and respond. No, oh, no, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Devastating kick. He can end it here. He's got him. win for Julius Creed. Here is your winner, Julius Creed. Cementing their name after that match. Definitely earning those accolades with that win. We really saw what these competitors were made of here tonight. Yeah, especially the winner. For my money, Seth Rollins might just be one of the most arrogant superstars in the history of this business, and that's saying something. Rollins truly believes there isn't a man alive who can match his greatness. Well, I'm not sure Rollins is wrong about that, actually. Throughout his career, he's always been circling the top of the men's division, a constant threat to any title or opponent that he sets his sights on. Well, it may be well-earned, but Seth Rollins is still as cocky as they come. And standing across the ring is one of the toughest superstars in WWE, Ilya Dragunov. If you haven't heard Dragunov's name before, you are about to learn today. He is a cruiserweight with the strength of a power striker, the heart of 10 men, and a terrifying intensity that is completely unmatched. Ah, oh, kick right in the face. And Zagiri finds its mark. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. This match grinded him down a little. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Nice suplex. And he goes for the pin. And he manages to kick out at one. I didn't think this match was close to over. Rollins believes a lot of his own hype, but the hype is certainly warranted. What does it take to topple the self-proclaimed visionary? You need to be on your game. 
And for all his bravado, Seth Rollins absolutely has the skills to back it up, and it is crucial that you meet him at his level. Suplex. Oh, kick right to the back. Oh, what a forearm. Delivered suplex. What a counter by Rollins. In kick right to the gut. And perhaps that size disadvantage coming into play there as Dragunov is put on the defensive. And Rollins is wearing a self-satisfied smirk after landing that. No, no. I can't. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Rollins in full control here. Oh, Boom! Oh, Rip Courtney. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Into the cover. No, oh, a kick out. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Shot to the back of the neck. And Dragunov's resolve might be wavering here. Dragunov has run into a roadblock. Big boot. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Inverted DDT. And he goes for the pin. He powers out at the last moment. Woo, that was close. Saw it coming and got out of there. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Rollins showing off his offensive arsenal. A messianic display of offense from Rollins. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. Maybe just stay down. And the cover! He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. Ooh, well-placed kick. He had it scouted. Does he have him here? Where in the world does one find such strength at this stage to kick out that early in the count? That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Jagadoff really showing what he's made of here with that power and... It not allowing that to go on any longer. Boom, what a punch! Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, oh, no, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Well-scattered reversal there. Shot after shot. Ooh, ruthless striking. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. Dragon off getting all sorts of fired up to deliver. Torpedo Moscow! Exclamation delivered by Dragon. And it kicked out at one? Even the ref can't believe it. How the hell do you kick out of that? I have no words. Not even a two count. And Dragonoff can't let this get to his head. He needs to keep going. Needs to keep fighting. Just disrespectful. Rollins getting worked out here. Rollins really being met at his own level here. All the way to the floor. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Uh-oh. Ooh, got caught with a punch to the face. Rollins with a schoolboy takedown. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Seated by on a elbow. Boom. Oh, what a kick. Oh, stomping right onto the arm. Oh, 
Rollins firmly establishing the upper hand. Evia has to trust his instincts at this point. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Talk about a close call. Yeah, the referee was dangerously close to making it to 10 right there. Ooh. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. More attacks to the neck area. Not a pretty sight to witness. And Dragunov is brought to a disadvantage now. Sets the shoulders down. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Seems like he's trying to wear down the arm there. Rollins just a step too slow. Cross body. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? He got the shoulder up in time. Wow. And Zagiri finds its mark. Taking out the knee. Hooked and driven down hard with a Uranagi. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Just a relentless assault from Dragunov. This kid. Ilya Dragunov getting fired up in the corner. Eyes locked on his opponent. Torpedo Moscow. Is there any fight left in Rollins? Pin. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Kick out at one. Unbelievable. More like inhuman. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. Slingshot clothesline. Is it enough? The cover! Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. You have to appreciate the unapologetic charm and brazen self-confidence of L.A. Knight. This guy believes he's a certified megastar and acts accordingly. It's certainly something in the way Knight struts around. You love him or hate him, you can't deny he's got the build, the skills, and the look of a superstar. I'm sure Knight is planning to win this match in the same stylish manner that he does everything else. And ready to get this fight going across the ring, we've got Sheamus. I'll say this, you will remember a battle with Sheamus far beyond tonight. You may win the match, but Sheamus will make sure you got the lumps, bumps, and bruises to remember tonight for weeks to come. The Celtic Warrior in bad shape here. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Boom! On the mark. Good timing with that reversal. thinking about what to do next here. Ooh, right to the throat. And a reversal by L.A. Knight. Boom, did you hear the impact? 
It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. What a sidewalk slam! sign that definitely gets the point across he may be in a bad way here and this match is not over yet things are only going to get harder from here la knight all attitude tonight but how does he convert confidence into results knight has thoroughbred athleticism his in-ring knowledge is almost surgical so as long as he keeps his cool there's a very strong chance he earns the win tonight oh. leg sweep. nicely done oh and that one misses the mark. Caught with a neck breaker. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Powers out. I thought for sure he was done. Set up for the beautiful side Russian leg sweep. An impressive sequence from L.A. Knight. And that's what we talk about when we say L.A. Knight is a thoroughbred. Just working his opponent over in surgical fashion. Target in the arm now. Oh, man. Stiff kick. Fist drop. Man. For the win. Getting out of that by the skin of their teeth. Bam! Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. He's one step ahead there. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Big overhand. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. Yeah, nice smash. Mouth style is on display. Hoist it up. Bang. Snap suplex. Oh. Sheamus dodges that one. Climbs back inside. What a knockout punch. Oh, oh man. Blow to the abdomen. Gets them out of that. Nice scoop slam. Oh, my gosh. What impact. Just breaking down the opponent. Ooh, he thinks he has it. He's on the ropes, and the ref wisely stops the count. The arm getting pummeled. Ooh, ooh, stinging kick. The fist has been dropped. One step ahead of Knight there. Inspiring power by the Celtic Warrior. High cross, and this has got to be it. He's able to beat a two count. He's still got life in this matchup. Oh, kill by Sheamus. Wow, he makes the Sheamus cover got all of it. Not even a two count. What unbelievable power! Uh oh. Sheamus looking for a fight. Saving us from having to sit through that. Oh! Great counter! Hoist it up. Good buster! Here he goes for the win! I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. Knight denies the attack. Great strength being shown here. Oh, God! Face first! And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Right. Nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. Supernatural Ooh. power! Punishing attack from the Celtic Warrior. Knight is going to have to dig down deep here. Ooh. Ah, 
God, just a deadlift into a back suplex. And that's Sheamus with a well-timed attack. The Knight has had flashes of control. But the top... Dominic! And again, Knight gets caught by the opposition. Yeah, it seems like Sheamus is fought. Yeah. Celtic Warrior with the Irish Curse Backbreaker. And a throw kick. That should be curtains for Knight. Cover. Whoa. I'm absolutely stunned. A display of near... Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Ah, oh, jeez. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Knight in a state of distress. Just look at Sheamus go. He eludes the contact. You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. They're starting to breathe heavier. This is the time where matches are won and lost. Boom! Fist drop. On the mark. This could be it. Cover for the win. It's over. L.A. Knight is your winner. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight. He really got the better of the opposition here. I agree, it was quite the display tonight. That was an unfair match from the start. The WWE Universe was constantly distracting Sheamus. Oh my gosh, where's the violin? He was once a superstar who had the world at his feet. But when he joined Retribution, he embraced the path of vengeance and simply became T-Bar. International pedigree, championship opportunities, yet T-Bar was always seen as the second best by the people that he trusted. He's out to show them why they were dead wrong on that one. Safe to say WWE may rue the day they decided to overlook the man known as T-Bar. And on the other side, dressed in his Sunday best, is the height of fashion himself, Massey. You can't really sleep on Massey, Corey. He's still trying to find the perfect fit for his career, but with the size and athleticism like his, he'll present a formidable challenge in the ring. Plus, that bone structure. Who would... Looking to catch him off guard. No, he kicks out at two. That would have been absolutely shocking to end the match this early. Right to the face. My God. Will this be enough? That was it. That had to have been closer to three than he'd like. <laughs> oh, what a punch. Corey, if you're facing T-Bar, what is it that you need to do to stop him? T-Bar can overwhelm an opponent fast. He will roll right through you if you're not ready. So you need to meet his aggression with yours at every step. Forced out of the ring. And he's taking this to the outside now. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Oh my gosh! Uh oh, this is just vicious. No, no. I can't. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Targeting the arm with a big stomp. Ooh, what a damaging blow! Uh -oh. oh, kick connects. Counter from T Bar. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Oh, what a choke slam. Toss them across the ring. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. No, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. 
And momentum is slipping away from T-Bar. And somehow T-Bar... Neither competitor makes it back. We have a double count out. To say that Wesley is a spectacle in the ring might be an understatement. His offense is on a level that is rarely seen in sports entertainment. There is no denying that Lee is an incredible amalgamation of some of the sport's greatest high flyers of all time. His offense is innovation at its finest. Well said, Byron. I think we're all looking forward to seeing what Lee pulls out in this match. Then you have a straight-up bully like Happy Corbin standing there, ready to inflict as much punishment as he possibly can with a smile on his face. Hey, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, Saxton. If there's any superstar who truly understands that saying, it's Happy Corbin. He goes for the quick pin attempt. He throws his shoulder up before two. He needs to deal more damage before trying that again. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. Wes showcasing his strength. Wes continues on the assault, keeping things at his pace. Measured knee drop. Oh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Carefully drops the knee. A knee drop. Got the hit. Uh oh. He moved, but can he capitalize? Boom, what impact! Assaulting the knee with purpose. Ooh. And Corbin facing a healthy... And he goes for the pin! No, a kick out for Corbin. He really thought that was it. it back around. I know he's your buddy, Corey, but if there's a way to keep Happy Corbin down, what do you think it is? Well, that's the thing, Cole. You can't keep Happy Corbin down. He just keeps on smiling. But if you're talking about winning the match, you'll have to survive Corbin's top-level striking skills and find your own openings to attack. Tilt the world head scissors. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Carefully. Measured knee drop. Oh, the knee drop connects. And Wes's counter. Planted with a choke slam. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. Brilliant countering by both competitors. No idea what happy court. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Oh, using the knee. Things are looking dire for Baron Corbin. Something's got to change quick. This has just been an absolute massacre. Ooh, ooh, kick finds it. Taking aim on the arm. Oh, God, that hurt. Boom. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And in all momentum has been taken from Corbin. He's doing a great job so far of avoiding happy Corbin strikes and finding his own opportunities to attack. For the victory here. Is it up to put him away? 
kicked out. How is that not three? Turning the tables there. Corbin with a deep six. Looking for the victory. Kicks out after one. These one counts are going to get harder. Uh-oh. End of days. Wes went down in a heat. Cover. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Corbin looking a little less happy than usual after that kick out. Oh, that might have just broken something. Ooh. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Measured knee drop. Corbin Dottons that one. Satellite DDT. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. And Corbin with a counter. Big boot! Dominating shoulder tackle. Into the arm track. Quick reversal. Oh, kick lands. Smart. This is it. Oh, and a kick out, a kick out, a kick out. He just kicked out by a fraction of a second. Ooh. Ah, look at this. Effectively targeting the arm. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Ooh. He's got him scouted. Corbin perhaps getting a bit too cocky here. He's being confident, Cole. And just eating a knee on the reversal. And returning to the ring. Caught with a lariat. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And a right hand to the jaw. My goodness. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, that move by Corbin was no laughing matter for the competition. Corbin gets stymied. Oh, oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. A oh, club with the right forearm. Snap merit over. Goes down low with the drop kick. And he's been concentrated on that area throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Will it be? And he only stays down for a one count. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Stop them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Oh, that'll weaken your arm. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. How in the world did he kick out? As close to three as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. Ooh. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Jarring impact. So much damage inflicted. Carefully measured knee drop. Turned that one around. Boom. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. West gets the better there. Oh, cover here. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. He saw it coming. Scoop slam! Deep six from the 
Lone Wolf. Cover! What's it gonna take to put this match away? Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. There's a snap mare delivered and precise drop kick to the base of the skull. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? We might just take that extra push, that extra inch further to create the difference. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Oh, and a kick out. I understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Oh, he retaliates. Thanks for coming. At the base. Vehement force from Corbin. There's two. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. Happy Corbin. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies.